ladies and gentlemen, this is the Morning Gardener, and it is, we had three, about three nights of weather down in the, um, in the single digits, so let's just see how the, the trees are making out, okay, I'm looking at the buds on this one, this is one of my peach trees, and it's, uh, it's been through severe cold, uh, there's nothing green on it, I see a couple of Looks like fruit buds there, and uh, here's another one, a much younger one. It might produce this year, but I got a real good feeding program for them this year. Um, and here, the, one of the apple trees. We go out and look at it, and right now it's about 20 degrees out here. So I'm not staying out here long. I just want to give you good people a good look at my garden. Yeah, the buds look real good on it. They look real good. And this one here is one of the younger trees. Yep, that one looks good. I mean, it really got cold. Uh -huh. And you can't even see where my piles of leaves are, but they're in this direction. I see a couple of tracks where the cats have been walking out here, looking around for something to eat. Now there's a plant over here that is the only one I have right now that's out here. I have one in the house and that's my my garlic that's piercing through to some of the ice and the strawberries are underneath all this ice. And you can see the collard greens and some over here. These are these are hybrids, but I let them come back every year. Um, once the seeds drop hit the ground, I let the hybrids come back. I mean, I'm going to see, you know, what would be the outcome? Here is one grapevine. This is the uh, uh, Delaware grape. It's a seedless. And, I mean, it really, really took a lot of cold this year. And I got the grapevine there. And uh, it looks like it's fine. It's, 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 it's got the right color to it, and the buds are there. It looks nice and healthy. And this here is another grapevine. I told I have about eight grapevines. Now, that's one grapevine. I need to clean up the vines off of it, or the weeds. There we go. But it had to deal with some severe cold this year. Never have my grapevines ever been through that much cold. Now, here is the one. Oh, my goodness. This plant looks perfect. And it's been through brutal cold. This is a kiwi plant and it comes all the way down this way and it goes up the stake and so right now it's about five feet tall and it's really going to take off this year. Now what I have around the base of it is is uh, I have it insulated with uh, wood, wood chips and, uh, and that should be good for it. what that was. There is one of my trees. And it looks like it's fine. No worse for wear. And this all here is my little patch where my kale and my collars are. They're still green. I know that there's got to be some damage because it was, uh, like I said, it's about uh, seven degrees one night. And then the night after that, it was 10 and like that. And then the night before that, it was six. So... That's what they look like after that punishing cold. And they're still alive. So I try to pick plants out that are very cold hardy here in zone 7. And uh, I plan on having a lot of um, a lot of uh, plants that will produce strawberries this year. And over here is my compost pile. I call it the star of the show. And I have a lot more of it down the f further end of the yard. This is just some of my compost. Um, it's frozen solid. There's my strawberries and cherries over there. I mean, well, uh, raspberries. And, and one of them, I got, I got, I don't know how many I got, but four different varieties. And then I got these other apple trees here. And they look really good. And uh, this one here. 
I believe is a uh, honey crisp and then this one here is a Fuji so I have three um, apple trees in high density planting uh, system where they're just perfectly close together because they, they pollinate better that way that's why I did it and so those trees are dwarfs and then we got some some uh, got some kale here and they're starting to really get cold when the winds cuss it up so I'm not gonna stay out here long and then we got over here uh, this is uh, raspberries and, and they're, they're perfectly green and, and full of uh, life you can see that yep you can see that they just the buds on them look nice and this one here we got a, another one here so I thought that one was dead and there it is it's tiny but it's there and here you have one, and you have some uh, another up here. It's doing good. And then the one further up, I think that's probably seeing better days. Okay, this is the morning garden. A trip around the yard is what I do. I send my viewers the latest information updated at least once a week. I try to. And look at this here. This is a blackberry. I cut all the bad canes the way you see there that, that uh, fruited last year. I got to cut those up and remove them. And uh, that's my uh, other cherry tree. Yeah, cherry. And this one here is a uh, tortellini. And then we got another. That's my big cherry tree. This one here I cut down real tough this year. I cut it back hard. And it, it'll do fine, but it's, I was worried about it. It's supposed to be a dwarf. And look at how thick it's getting around there. But if it gets any thicker than that, I know that they sold me a standard instead of a... But I got still keep all of them in check. I got to keep them small. And this one here is a Bane. Oh, by the way, this one here was a, uh, a Stella. One of my favorites and the only one I have. And over here... That, oh, that's an Alberta peach. Now, that, they say that's one of the sweetest peaches you can... You can get, I put it in about, uh, I guess about a year ago, and it's really gotten some size to it. It's going to get really big this year. I have another feeding program, as I was saying earlier, that I'm going to really put these trees on. And over here, you can see the cuttings. I always leave the cuttings sometimes on certain trees. I leave them right here for them to decay right there. Um, and if I need them for something else, I can move them. But in the meantime, they stay right there. Uh, this one is full of buds. Now this tree is a peach tree. This is called a, a Hail Haven, and this tree here really produced last year. I mean, um, I mean it was it was 15 feet tall, and it's supposed to be a dwarf, but it's supposed to be a dwarf dwarf, but it was 15 feet tall. So I don't know what they really sold me, but I know it's a peach. Um, but it was really big. I mean, really, really big. So all these all these are buds, and most of them are fruit buds, and so it's going to produce this year as well. A much larger peach because I had to cut away a lot of the, uh, you can see a lot of the, the limbs and, and all those limbs contained buds and it was producing all these peaches and the peaches were medium in size. So I said, okay, I need to cut this tree back. And over here is another peach tree. Um, I don't think it's going to produce this year, but it might, you never know. It's two years old. I cut it back hard as well and they're going to be on the feeding program as well. All right, this is the morning garden. Thank you.